Hey guys, Mumbles here with another Escape from Tarkov video, and today we're going to go over Lighthouse and kind of just give an overview of what the map looks like, what our kind of experiences are and stuff like that. It is a huge map. It is really, really big. We thought this was going to be a small map. However, it's clearly not that. It is clearly more like a shoreline or resort. It's just a little bit thinner in a more kind of elongated map. Um, so you're probably going to get a lot of combat, especially with the minefields that push you in certain areas. You're going to be careful about this because you're probably going to get a lot of combat when you're moving across the map. Because if both sides have to go through this kind of small area, kind of like on customs where you kind of get funneled on the bridges, this is going to be the same thing here. You're kind of going to get funneled in this one little spot here. So you're probably going to come up on a lot of combat mid to late game. So guys, let's jump right in and look, take a first look at Lighthouse and just kind of the areas that are inside there that we can explore a little bit more now that we actually have access to it. The water treatment facility is probably my new favorite area. This place is crazy interesting. There is so many areas to it and it starts with a, like a ton of cool tents. There's a helicopter in here, plenty of watchtowers with turrets on it and it's surrounded by an entire minefield. It, it's kind of crazy to see how complicated this area is because trying to traverse it and also fight in it is very, very complicated. A few of the fights that we actually had in this area is just absolutely insane. It's it's crazy. It's chaotic. It's you're getting attacked from multiple angles as well as outside and inside the compound at the same time. And sometimes you're even pinned down by minefields, so you really can't retreat in a certain area. There is a ton of gun parts laying around. However, there's a ton of random loot, car batteries, gas analyzers. If you're looking for your gas analyzers, this is a good place to go. However, it is very dangerous. There's a ton of meds and a ton of food and a ton of ammo. I I think this may be the new ammo spot. If you don't want to go to reserve, this might be the place you want to go. The main building looks incredibly complicated and hard to clear, however. So do be aware when kind of coming into this building that you are going to have to use extreme caution with clearing this place out. It's a ton of dark corners, ton of corners, ton of areas to hide in and a ton of places where you can see through and get some nice angles on. The enemies have a really nice gear too, which makes this area super hard. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're pushing this area because this does have the new kind of enemy called the Rogue Yusek, um, which is basically just Yusek's gone rogue. Village is a nice low-key place to find some random loot uh, and barter items. This map is just absolutely huge. You can see me here just kind of looking over the ridge, and it is just massive. We thought this was going to be an arena style, sh like small map. However, it looks like it's turned into a shoreline of reserve and it's just, it's, it's a massive map and it's just more longer and more kind of thinner. Uh, it's more squished kind of reserve or shoreline map size. The resort has a lot of CQB areas. It's all just basically indoors. Um, not many long angles in this place. It's a lot of closed off rooms, upstairs, downstairs, a lot of dark areas to hide in. A lot of places that you can kind of ambush players it's a ton of fun to fight in this place however you do have to watch your flank because it is really easy to flank in this place so if you are fighting here you want to make sure you know of any air angles that the enemy can come at there is plenty of random areas that you can kind of look out in there's a plenty of random loot there's also quite a few car batteries in this kind of area here uh the main area here the main resort there's i think three or four car battery spawns that I personally have found. Um, not necessarily in the big building. I know there's one in the theater as well as there's also one in this kind of like little pool area. If you go upstairs, there's also one in the um, master bedroom for some reason. Um, I found one next to the bed the other day. And then there is also two out in the garage out front. But you can see here, there's just so many different angles to kind of look out of this resort, whether you're defending it, whether you're fighting in it and trying to get an angle on an enemy, it's just a crazy amount of places to kind of peek out and try to get an advantage on your enemy. Now to the east of the resort is the chalet, which is just a kind of a smaller resort kind of building. Um, it's very CQB dark. Um, it's gonna be very hard to clear um, a lot of corners to check a lot of rooms to check um, and a bunch of another like random little loot spots and dark spots to just kind of hide in. Um, there is some cheeky spots here. If you go upstairs, you can kind of look over the railing onto the main staircase for anyone that's coming in the front door or coming up the staircase. Now, this building does have some labs references. Now you see here we have the laptop. Uh, there is some stim spawns here. Um, so if you are looking for the stims for the sampler quest, 
this will be another good spot to find that. There's also a ton of food here, a ton of ammo, and a ton of random stuff just kind of all over the place. It doesn't seem like there's any like specific kind of loot areas. It's mainly just all over the place. You can see here they had the theater playing the old, uh, or not necessarily old, but the short series trailer and news kind of cast. There is the short series pretty much goes on and on and on in the theater. Um, and then if you go down below the chalet, there is some, like a military kind of base thing down here. It has a couple tents, um, has a lot of gun, gun parts and loose items as well as it has a unlocked Intel spawn right here on the desk. Um, so a pretty crazy place to kind of just come down and check real quick. Um, out of the way, there is some gun parts, hoses, technical parts, utility parts. There's a bunch of stuff down here. This is another car battery spawn as well. Um, I have found one right between the two antennas there, as well as next to the four-wheeler. Again, just showing off how big this map is. This is just crazy. You can see Village over there in the very, very far distance, as well as the resort a little bit higher up on the mountain. This place is just crazy big. There's a ton of little areas around the map too where you can find random valuables like a lion here. And then the heli down here has a ton of medical spawns. Uh, it has a grenade case. I've heard it has an M4 spawn right next to the helicopter. However, I haven't found it yet. Um, but if you're looking for an M4, you need that founded raid M4 for the quest. That'd be a great place to start. And obviously we have the lighthouse section, which actually you actually can get to. Um, I'm assuming at some point where they did say this will be an in-game trader, this will probably be the place that he is at, um, would be my assumption because it's the only POI that's not necessarily accessible right now. Um, so I would assume at some point, this will be the area where you can kind of go into and talk to the trader. We don't know yet, but I would assume this is what's going to happen. There is a sniper. So if you do get too close, they start shooting at you. So guys, after a few games of playing Lighthouse, I think this map may actually be my favorite. However, it is a crazy complicated map with jagged ledges and also crazy just different areas and POIs. We, there's a lot of POIs here that are very different and very unique, as well as some that may seem a little bit familiar as far as houses and layouts and stuff like that. You do have to be careful because there are plenty of ledges for snipers to snipe out of and also camp as well as plenty of overlook areas. So do be aware when you're kind of traveling around this map, that you may need to start looking up and around more than usual. Well, guys, if you guys like this and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of what you guys think about Lighthouse. I personally think it might be my new favorite map. I've had a ton of fun on Lighthouse so far. But guys, if you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit the bell for new videos when they come out. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Goodbye. This is y'all.